America's public school students have a First Amendment right to political expression when they go to school. The First Amendment means that when kids get on the school bus in the morning, they do not have to leave their political views at home. In Howard City, Michigan, the Tri-County Area School District, specifically an administrator and a teacher, told a handful of students that they couldn't express their political opinions. They could not wear Let's Go Brandon branded sweatshirts, and they told one student that he couldn't wear a re-elect Trump campaign flag as a cape while simultaneously allowing other students to wear rainbow pride flags as capes when they relax their dress code during the final week of school. And so, FIRE is suing to protect the free speech rights of all students in Howard City, Michigan. With this lawsuit, FIRE intends to cement the First Amendment right of all American public school students to peacefully express their political views when they go to school. Let's Go Brandon is an anti-Joe Biden political slogan that originated after a 2021 NASCAR race in Talladega, Alabama. The race was won by Brandon Brown, and after the race, the crowd started chanting, fuck Joe Biden. But the commentators up in the TV booth thought that the crowd was chanting, let's go Brandon. As you can hear the chants from the, the crowd, let's go Brandon. So after that, let's go Brandon became a political slogan and a catchphrase on the right for saying fuck Joe Biden without actually using the swear word. The slogan let's go Brandon is not vulgar. What the school is doing here is arguing that not only can we prohibit you from using swear words, we can prohibit you from expressing a message which even makes people think about swear words. The First Amendment doesn't allow that. Schools can prohibit students from swearing, from engaging in sexually explicit speech, and from engaging in speech that can reasonably be seen as promoting illegal drug use. But what school administrators and teachers can't do is prohibit political expression just because they don't like what you have to say. The slogan, Let's Go Brandon, exploded in popularity among conservative circles. A Republican member of the House of Representatives used it in a speech on the House floor. Let's go, Brandon. I yield back. Another member emblazoned it on his face mask. And the slogan's been mentioned time and time again on the evening news. Let's go, Brandon. What did he just say? Let's go, Brandon. That's right. Schmeck said, let's go, Brandon. Considered a dig at the president. This is a popular political slogan among conservatives in America that a school has no right to prohibit. Public grade school students absolutely have the right to speak their mind. The Supreme Court has made clear, famously, in 1969's Tinker v. Des Moines Independent Community School District, that students don't shed their rights at the schoolhouse gate, and that includes their First Amendment rights. Now, there are some exceptions, right? You can't talk back to your teacher and tell her you don't want to do your homework. But when you're in the common areas of school, or what you're wearing to school, it's got a political slogan on it, uh, yeah, you're protected. You're even protected if you wear a black armband, like Mary Beth Tinker did, to protest the Vietnam War. The Supreme Court has called America's public schools nurseries of democracy. Schools have a responsibility to prepare students to live in a country where their co-workers and neighbors might not think, pray, or vote the same way they do. Encountering different viewpoints is part of being an American, and it's part of an American education. With this lawsuit, FIRE intends to cement the First Amendment right of America's public school students to peacefully express their political views when they go to school. FIRE believes strongly in Justice Brandeis's notion, more speech, not enforced silence. If a school allows some political expression, they have to allow all political expression. FIRE's here to defend and represent students regardless of their political affiliation when school administrators try to censor them. Yeah, the First Amendment is only as real uh, as our willingness to protect it and recognize it, even when it's hard, especially when it's hard, especially when the student wearing a t-shirt that most other students don't agree with or maybe nobody agrees with. That's when it's most important. If we don't protect student First Amendment rights in our public schools, then those students will grow up to think that the First Amendment doesn't really mean what it says, or it's optional, or you can throw it out when you really don't like the speech. With this litigation, FIRE hopes to send the message that we will defend First Amendment rights wherever they're threatened, and that includes our public grade schools. In fact, maybe especially our public grade schools, because we feel a responsibility as free speech advocates to make sure the First Amendment lives on for future generations, and that's what we're doing in this case.